You said I seen him. What? A murderer. You sure? Mm-hmm. There's video all through there. Well, I didn't tell you about that. What's your rap name? K Shorty. K Shorty. I find you on YouTube. Hmm. Probably not no major videos, but I just like a lot of Instagram videos. Instagram videos that uh, you show up on like World Star or anything. Hmm. Therese Powell, who performs under the name K Shorty, was found guilty of firearms possession by a juvenile delinquent with a prior felony conviction. This is just one of several local cases in which a performer's own music has been used against him. Prosecutors showed jurors a video they said tracked word for word the incident that led to his arrest. He faces up to 15 years in prison for the gun conviction. He also has a pending case in which he faces three counts of murder and attempted murder. Stay up. I'm gonna take You need to take a piss, man? What's your name, bro? Therese Pope. Therese? Mm -hmm. All right. How do you spell Therese, man? T E R I S E. P O W E. P O W E. All right. All right, Therese Poe. Uh, what's your date of birth, man? 3101. 3101. Over. All right, 2001. All right. Uh, where do you stay at? 286 Belfort Street. 286 Belfort. B E L F O R T. Okay, Street. thank you. Street. Alright. Uh, what's a good phone number for you, man? 904 581 6652. Okay, awesome. Okie dokie. Alright, um, so Mr. Poe, mm -hmm. um, I understand you're under arrest. Like the other guys under arrest. Um, I don't remember your charge off the top of my head. I know it didn't, like, it wasn't me. Um, so I've been charged with something? Yeah, but I don't remember what. It's, I think oh, it's like you had marijuana in your pocket or misdemeanor. something. Misdemeanor. Yeah, like you had weed or he had weed or you ran from the police. So I was about to say, but, or I, ran from the police. but I had on me, I didn't even have to get a chance to throw anything. I didn't even know the blood, like where it came from. Like, I almost my car pulled up. So, I so did you have weed? Yeah, I had weed on me, but that's the only thing I had. Oh, uh, okay. All right. That's so, what it is, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I can't remember if it was because they told me the charges, but I couldn't remember what yours was. Or they're both misdemeanors, like mm -hmm. possession of weed or running from the cops, one and mm -hmm. two. Um, <clears throat> but still, with you being under arrest for holding weed, um, I want to talk to you about a case that we're looking into. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I'm going to go over your rights with you. Okay, just protect your rights, protect me. I make it look like I'm trying to do anything shady. Mm -hmm. um, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to try to violate your rights or anything. I, I'm a firm believer in the Constitution. Um, all right, so we're at the Police Memorial Building. I'm going to abbreviate it PMB because uh, there's complicated words like memorial and building. Uh, it's now September 29th, 2021, and it's like 2.58 in the morning. All right, you were a bit more awake than the other fella. Can you read this line where I put the star? Can you just read it out loud so I can hear you? You had, you had five rights under the United States Constitution. That's right. I got the rest of them for you, man. You do not have to make a statement or say anything. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you and to have the lawyer with you during any questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, it won't be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you do answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult with the lawyer. Yeah. You understand your rights? Yeah. Okay. Can you sign right there with his signature? It's not admitting anything, it's just acknowledging that we went over this form together. No oh, shit, I do my name the same way. I just do the first initial and then some of the last name. It's way easier that way. I think. All right, Therese, or Mr. Poe, I'm going to keep it formal. Um, so, do you have any idea what's going on today? No? no? All right. So, where were you at today? Like, kind of walk me through your day. What'd you do today? Last night, I went to a PBS house and I stayed there for a little bit. You know? Whenever I, I got up, I went to, uh, to get, some, got, get some eating. I went to the studio. All right, so you were at a female's house last night? Mm hmm You remember kind of where she stayed at? Hmm. You remember where she stayed at? The side of town? She stayed on the south side. I'm like, that was my first time going over there. She stayed on the south side? Mm -hmm. Okay. How'd you get over there? A uh, car. Somebody dropped me off. Okay. Who dropped you off? Who dropped me off? Somebody. One of my friends. Okay. Do you remember, uh, do you remember who? Like, I'm, I'm asking like for a name. A name? Yeah. I don't want to say the name. I don't want them to feel like I don't like to put them in the thing. I don't even know, like, okay. why y'all asked me this, so I don't want to say nobody's name and, like, you know? Um, I don't, but okay, you're allowed to not tell me, so that's not a big deal. All right, so you were at a female's house last night. Woke up, you got some breakfast, and you went to the studio, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, it wasn't breakfast, it was one night, I don't know, we go early. I always wake up, like, two. Two? Yeah. All right, man, that's late in the afternoon. All right. Um, well, it was your first meal of the day, so we'll call it breakfast, okay? Um, I eat breakfast all the time anyway, because breakfast food is delicious. So, got breakfast, and then you went to the studio, uh, and the studio is at the one up on Arlington Road. Mm -hmm. So, from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, because you're clearly more familiar with this place than I am, there's like a bunch of little studios in the building, right? Mm -hmm. Um, do you rent one, or do you rent a studio, or do you know someone who rents a studio and they like you to use it? Like, what's the setup there? Like, I can tell you, like, I be there a lot, like, like, every time my f go there, I go there, he like, man, pull up on me, man, make some music. That's what that was. So, it was like, it was one of them days, like, I pulled up, uh, chilling there, and then I been there all day, like, right when I was going to leave, I walked out, and I was standing out there for, like, five minutes waiting on my ride, when my ride pulled up, uh, a, a pickup truck came, pulled in, smashed on the brakes, and opened the door, I ran, and I heard freeze, I was like, oh, that's the police. So after that, I ran around the building, I got on the ground, and I was waiting for them to come. Cause I ain't want, you know, I ain't want them to feel like I'm running from them, but at the same time, I didn't know who they was at first. So I got on the ground. I didn't even think to throw anything because I ain't had nothing really going on for I forgot I had weed in my pocket. Mm -hmm. So when I, I had my phone and everything on me that I had in my possession, and I just laid there. And then until they, until they came around and saw it, like I didn't try to hide. I was plain sight, like on the front street. Like I was just, I didn't want to get shot. So I just, you know. Yeah, I got you. So your friend told you to roll through, um, make some music and shit, right? Mm -hmm. All right, and then uh, how long do you think you were there before the police showed up? Like all day. Like. Okay, so you were at the studio pretty much all day. Mm -hmm. Like you woke up at 2, and you were at the studio by 3, yeah, roughly. Uh, yeah. That ain't got to be exact. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so you were there from 3 until? About like 8, I think, I believe. Eight? Yeah. You think it's around kind of when everything happened? Yeah, probably. Probably eight, nine, nine, something. 
But mm -hmm. basically, even, even with the timing is wrong, but you were there from three until until, yes, until the police yeah, got there. Yes, yeah. Until the, okay. All right. Okay. Um, when you were there, did you ever see a, a black SUV or anything? Black <laughs> SUV. Um. It don't care. It don't catch my attention, but like, I would, it probably would have helped if you like said like what kind. Of is it a Range Rover? Range Rover? Did I see one? Yeah. No. Not at the time? No. Not at the time you didn't see one. When you were up there? Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. Alright. Um, did you see anybody like coming and going to a black car or anything mm -hmm. like that? To, to the Range Rover, not just a black car. Did you see anything? Mm -hmm. Alright. With the studio that you went to, was it on the first floor? Was it like the one on the left? Or like where is it in, in relation to the building? It's like on the on the right side, but like, it used to be on the right side, we used to be a lot, but the left side is where I was today. All right, so we're talking right and left side. Is that looking at it from Arlington Road or looking at it from like the back and like the driveway? Exactly. Okay, so like today- I'm facing towards it. Yeah, it from, from the back driveway, right? Yeah. Okay, and you said today you're on the left side? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. So you were at the studio all day long. Did you ever go over to the west side? The west? I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay like north is west, but I ain't even over that day. So no. You didn't go over there today? No? Alright. You stayed in the studio all day. Yeah. 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 He's a, he's a, he's like, my friend's cousin, so like that's how I know him. Who's your friend? Who like who's he? Who he's cousins to? Uh, he's locked up right now. Okay, who is he? His name. Is he. Hmm. On on what friend last name? I just know him for this short last name. I just know him because he's been in the neighborhood a lot, and I know that's his uh, cousin. And like ever since he got locked up, it's just be like he don't got nobody to hang with. So I be like, okay, you can hang with us. Like, All right. Hey. So what's your real name. Hmm? Okay. Um, yeah, how old he is? All right. What was he wearing today? I think he had some. Don't make me lie to you, man. I want to pay what he had on. I don't even remember. Was there someone I know there? He had a black shirt and half a show, black half a show, but I don't know, like, like. Was there someone who was there with you who had like yellow pants on? Was it someone? I don't know. It might have been him. I don't know. I'm asking you. I mean, we got out there. There's about 150 fucking people and a bunch of officers standing around just expecting me to do everything. So, I mean, I, there was a guy with yellow pants, but I don't know if he had any involvement in hanging out with you or anything. That's that's why I'm asking you. Like, I, don't know. I don't even know what he had on. I want to be paying attention to like. Okay. All right. But at the end of the day, you're saying you stayed at the studio all day long, right? Well, it wasn't all day. I didn't sleep half of the day. That's sure, but, but from the time you woke up, from the time you left the female's house on the south side, woke up, got your breakfast went to the studio, you were there until police fa police got you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, you know anything? What happened to your eye? Car accident. Oh, shit. When was that? Hmm. When was that? Like two months ago. One and a half, two months ago. Did you get stitches or something? Yeah, my eyebrow had kind of like fell back to like this far. Oh, shit. I had to put it back down and like, Stitch it on. Man, wow. You must have hit the window. No, I flew out. Oh, fuck. That's why you gotta wear a seatbelt. Tell me about it. you're alive, man. Um, let, me, uh, let me ask you this. I asked you about a black Range Rover. You said it wasn't up there today. Do you know anyone with a black Range Rover? No? Have you ever driven a black Range Rover? Mm -mm. No? Alright. 
Okay. All right, man. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, sit tight for me, okay? All right. I had a couple more questions for you. Thought of it. You came to. Him. So I asked you, you remember if you knew anyone with a black Range Rover? Mm. Right? And you said you have no idea. You don't know anyone with a black Range Rover. What kind of car does your mom have? One of them got a car. My sister got some that my mom used because my sister stayed at my mom. Okay, what does she have? She has a white I wanna say oh yeah, Lexus. It's an older model though. It's not like a newer, it's like an older model, like O four. Okay. And you said you have never driven a Black Range Rover. Hmm? You said that you have never driven a Black Range Rover? Would it surprise you to know that you were stopped 10 days ago in a Black Range Rover by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office? One time I was pulled over when I ran a light. I, I'm not, I don't know why you were pulled over. I'm telling you, nine days ago, 10 days ago, you were stopped in a Black Range Rover. And that Black Range Rover ran from police officers today. You sure? I'm positive. Well, I can... The tag's registered to your mother. Do you, are you sure? You know what my mother's name is? Um, I didn't read the report, but... My mother's name is Kobe Tom. My mom doesn't have a Range Rover. Never had it. Mom. mom doesn't have a Range Rover. Okay. Mr. Poe, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence. I'm not going to come and step to you with some sort of foolishness, okay? I'm telling you because these are facts, mm -hmm. okay, and... But I'm telling you, I, for a fact, you call my mom right now, like, you could, I will give you my mom's first and last name. She has never bought a Range Rover in her life. Yeah, okay. what is it? What's your mom's name? S-H-E-C-O-L-B-I-E, Thomas. T-H-O-M-A-S? Yes. What's her date of birth? It's June 13th. 83. Alright, June 13th of 1983. Is there any apostrophes or anything in Shacolby? Mm -hmm. Alright, Shacolby Thomas. Does she live at West 43rd Street address too? Yes, uh, I gave you. Oh, I'm sorry, that was your friend. I'm sorry. I'm, it's been a long day. Yeah, you're right. Go ahead. Okay. I'm not meaning to insult your intelligence, mm -hmm. okay? But, um, this is just important because when I ask you about have you ever, you know, anyone the Range Rover? Mm -hmm. You yourself, Mr. Poe, were pulled over in a black Range Rover 10 days ago, not even two weeks ago. Right? And then when that same Range Rover, same tag and shit, done run from the police today. The same as that one? The same tag. The one that's crashed into the pole or by behind the studio. I wasn't there. We weren't the ones that pulled you over. So, I mean, I can't, I, I didn't you know, write the VIN down, but it sure as sure as shit seemed like the same damn one. Do I have a picture of it? Because I don't know if, like, the car I got pulled over in, it was a black, it was a, oh, matter of fact, it was a ring. Mm. Yep, it was. Mm -hmm. You got a picture of my, it? That was uh, my Leaving car. the scene of the murder. Whose car that is it? My, that was in my car. Whose car is it? Who car is it? Mm -hmm. You said I seen him away? A murder. You sure? Mm hmm. There's video all through there. Well, I didn't tell you about that. 
Especially not long ago. I also picked up on license plate readers around town mm -hmm. in the same area. And then comes all the way back to the studio. Wow. You sure? Mm-hmm. It comes... You said it did well? Came all the way back to the studio. You sure? Yes. I'm not going to tell you lies. Whose car was it that you were pulled over in? Uh, somebody's uh, laid out note. Okay, and her name is? Donetta. Donetta? Mm -hmm. Donetta what? Perry. D-O-N-E-T-T-A. P-E-R-R-Y? Yeah. What's her date of birth, you know? Mm -hmm. But that's her car? Mm -hmm. What's your relation to her? I was a friend of her uh, son. You were a friend of her son? Yeah. Who's her son? He's in jail. What's his name? Rod. Rod? Rod what? Uh, Sykes. Um, is Rod his name or is it is Rod short for like Roderick or something? Rod? Look right. It's just Rod? Mm -hmm. Alright. Who does do you know who else would drive that Range Rover? You know, she let people over her car at the time. I just needed it at the time. You just needed it at the time? Alright. It does any of your friends or anyone else know her? Miss Miss Perry? Mm mm. She don't she don't deal with too too many people, but no, I'm not not nobody I'm close with. So how did it end up? At the same place that you're at, and you're seen driving it ten days ago. You said what? How did it end up at the same place where you are at, and you were seen driving it ten days ago? If you weren't driving it, who else was driving it? I wasn't driving it. I promised you I was. She can vouch for you. She didn't give me her car. So who else was driving it? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You were trying to make it seem like well, no, I'm I just, drove this car. Well, no, I'm I'm, I'm asking you. Okay, I I wasn't there. I didn't see you sitting behind the wheel of the car. That's what I'm saying. If I would get you, I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't even try to tell you anything. Uh, like, you know, like I'm okay. I'm really trying to cooperate with you guys. I'm I'm not trying to be rude to you. I'm just I just got to ask you questions. Okay. But it put yourself in my shoes for a second, right? Mm -hmm. You were seen in Miss Perry's car. You were stopped by the police mm -hmm. in Miss Perry's car. Ten days ago. Now, that same car and you are seen in the same location, but you say you were not there. You didn't drive that car there. Isn't that isn't that kind of coincidental? Yeah, very. So that's all I'm asking. It's very coincidental. You even say so. So, does that's why I had to ask you again. You sure? <clears throat> like, I had to ask you like. Well, no, I'm asking. Is, is there anybody in your circle, your group of friends? Who Miss Perry knows and may lend the keys to, but you said she don't. She don't talk to that many yeah, people. She don't fuck with that many people. So that's why I'm so not that I be around. I'm not talking. I can't vouch for anybody else. Not that you be around. Yeah. Okay. Does she give her keys out to anybody else who goes to the recording studio yeah. or anything? Not that you know of. How do you get a hold of Miss Perry? <clears throat> how do I get a hold of her? Yeah. Like if you had to call her, how'd you get a hold of her? Uh, I like. Like, I think she, my mama got a number, and I just like tell her I'm, I'm gonna come over to her house. I just pop up sometimes, but if I want to call, I tell my mom to call her because I never say if I never. All right, so <clears throat> eventually we are going to talk to Miss Perry. Mm -hmm. Is she gonna tell us that she lent the car to you and you had it and she didn't know anything about it for the last 10 days? What do you mean? Say, repeat it one more time. So we're going to go talk to Miss Perry, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask her, hey, when's the last time you saw your car? Because I know Mr. Poe had your car 10 days ago. Did you get it back from him or anything like that? What is she, is she going to tell me that last she knew of it, she gave it to you? Or did you give it back to her or what? Mm, she said to you that I gave it back. When did you give it back to her? The same night. Cause like, I can't be getting pulled over in this car getting her tickets. Cause they, 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 they gave me a warning, so I just gave it back. 
I have had a car since. I don't even like have a car. Like that was my first time using something like that. I ain't finna like, you know. Yeah. Alright. I got you. Did you leave any of your stuff in the car? Uh I use probably like shoes. I didn't think about like nah. Probably not. I don't know. Have you driven the car since that day? Mm. No. Alright. So you borrowed it once, you drove it and you gave it right back because you didn't want to get her tickets. And then you haven't driven it since. Mm-hmm. That was driven since. Okay. Like ever, like that was my first time, like ever. Ever. Do you know a guy named I don't know. Okay. What's what's your relationship with him? Never seen him in person, but I know he's a rapper. You know he's a rapper. Yeah. And he don't like me because the neighborhood I grew up in. And it's, but like, never seen each other in person though. Never seen you in person. Have y'all talked like online or anything? You know, talk to each other. So you said he don't like you. Do you like him? I'm not gonna like somebody who doesn't like me, especially for no reason. I'm like uh-huh. I don't got nothing personal against him, but like, like I use like you know, mm-hmm. point yeah. things at me. It's a whole bunch of people around here. Yeah, no, okay, oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, does he like talk shit about you or anything? He talked shit before, but like not to the point where like, oh like, like you know, like rage up and like just. So he's like a pest. He's kind of talk, but just annoy you, but he don't like. And yeah, people, my mom tell me, don't feed it to all the time. Yeah. Don't push like, it. People like them always, like, you know. Yeah. So he's like, don't get into that and stuff like that. I got you. I got you. All right. All right. All right. So are you a rapper too? Hmm? Are you a rapper too? Do you rap too? Yeah. What's your rap name? Hmm? What's your rap name? K Shorty. K Shorty? Okay, K, like just a letter K. K A Y. K A Y. S H O R T Y. O R T Y. K Shorty. Is there like a hyphen or anything? No. Okay. No. I ain't that big of a rapper. I just made music. I don't know. I don't know. I just made music. That's all. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool, man. Um. <clears throat> all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, sit tight for me, okay? I'm gonna bring you back water real quick. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. It's just been a long day. I just keep keep something on my mind. I'll bring you water right now. Okay. Stand up for him. We're done. Hmm. We're done. I'm being arrested? Yeah, for marijuana possession. How do you care? So, a misdemeanor. It's a misdemeanor. Yeah, it's a misdemeanor. Right. So I got to take it into custody for a misdemeanor. Mm-hmm. And the population for me. You'll go into booking and get processed. And you'll go to court tomorrow afternoon. And then you'll get a bond or um, put a hold you. Mm-hmm.